वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश फोर्टी थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज द कंपाउंड बीम इज फिक्स एट ए पिन कनेक्टेड एट बी एंड सपोर्टेड बाय अ रोलर एट सी ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द बीम सो यू कैन सी दिस बीम इज कंपाउंड बीम दैट इज पिन सपोर्टेड एट बी दिस इज द फिक्स सपोर्ट एट ए एंड देर इज अ रोलर सपोर्ट एट सी सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द बीम सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द solution so first step is that if we remove this roller support so there will be a reaction force due to this roller support let this is rc or you can see this is let this is cy clear and if you remove this support at point a that is fixed support so you will be having a reaction force which is represented as ay as well as there will be a moment that will be equal to ma so we will find this cy ay and ma with the help of moment uh, with the help of equilibrium condition so you can see this beam is pin beam uh, this beam is a compound beam that is pin at point b so we can treat it, it as a segment bc and this segment ab and we will treat them separately so first we will draw the free wire diagram of for segment bc so i will write for segment bc so if i draw the free wire diagram of segment bc it will be like this one this is your point b this is your point c at c we have a reaction force which is cy at b when you remove this pin support so you will be having a reaction force let this reaction force is represented as by and you can see um, you have a load of 3 kilo newton per meter over the length of this beam that is 2 kilo newton 3 3 kilo newton per meter so what if we convert this 3 kilo newton per meter into a point load so it will be equal to 3 multiply by the length and length this length is 3 meter this is 3 meter so total load will be 3 into 3 which is equal to 9 kilo newton and that is a point load now we apply equilibrium equilibrium condition in order to find this cy so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point b one moment is due to cy into perpendicular distance is 3 and this is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive the second moment will be due to 3 into 3 which is 9 and perpendicular distance will be this 1.5 because it will act at the mid of 3 their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write cy into 3 minus 9 into 1.5 is equal to 0 so from here you will get cy will be equal to 4.5 kilo newton okay you can also find by by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so from here you can see by is upward so by minus this 9 plus cy which is 4.5 is equal to 0 and b9 will be by will be also equal to 4.5 kilo newton okay so this is by cy is 4.5 kilo newton and this by is also 4.5 kilo newton so we have done with this so we will find this ay and we will use segment bc so i will write for segment for segment ab or segment ab and we will draw the free body diagram for segment ab so you can see this is your point a and this is your point b at point b we have 2 kN load so we will write 2 kN the length is 3 meter this is 3 meter and here the reaction at point a is ay so this is ay and there is a moment which is ma now we will find this ay and 
a y by using equilibrium condition that sum of all movement about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so you can see the movement about point a is this external movement which is m a and that is counterclockwise so it will be positive the second movement is two into perpendicular distance is three and that will be clockwise so it will be negative their sum must be equal to zero so m a minus 2 into 3 okay one thing is that we have you can see at this point we had b y so here it will be downward because due to Newton third law so there, there will be b y and b y is also 4.5 so its movement will also be included so minus 2 into 3 and minus this 4.5 kilo Newton into 3 the all the the moment the sum of all moments will be zero so when you calculate it you will get m a is equal to 19.5 kilo newton into meter okay this a y can be find by using this equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is positive so one is a y so a y is upward minus this two minus 4.5 which is this one b y their sum must be equal to zero so you when you calculate it you will get this a y will be equal to 6.5 kilo newton now you have all the unknown forces c y is also calculated that is 4.5 kilo newton you have a y is also 6.5 kilo newton and movement is equal to 19.5 kilo newton into meter so we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so for that i will take the vertical lines from the end of the beam this is one line and this is second line First, we will draw the shear force diagram. So this is horizontal and X will be in meter. Okay. Here we will take shear force which will be in kilo Newton. Let each division is uh, equal to uh, 5 Newton. So 5 kilo Newton, 10. Similarly, minus 5 and minus 10. Now you can see that uh, here at point A we have 6.5 kilo Newton. So your first point will be th this one. So let this is 6.5 kilo Newton. Now moving from point A till point B, there is no other force, so it will remain same. So I will plot this point over here. It will be this one. So it will be a horizontal line. Now at point this point you can see you have minus 2 kilo Newton that is acting downward so 6.5 minus 2 will be bring it to 4.5 so it will be somewhere here so I will let this point is 4.5 so the shear force will change to this this is 4.5 okay now you can see that there is a uniformly distributed load over length of 3. So 3 into 3 will be equal to minus 9. So 4.5 minus 9 will bring it to minus 4.5 at this end. So what we will do is that we will first look at 4.5. Let this is minus 4.5. And you can see that since this load is horizontal with 0 degree. So and this is negative so your shear force will be a first degree line and it the slope will be decreasing and at the end you can see plus 4.5 which will move it to zero okay so this is your shear force diagram so this length that is three meter the remaining will be three and this is 1.5 so at this point we have 4.5 meter and total length is 6 now we will move toward a bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram again you have to draw a horizontal line to show length in 
meter and here you will take moment in kilo newton into meter let each division is uh, let each division is of four five so five five ten so for minus five kilo newton into meter minus ten minus fifteen and minus twenty so first point you can see here that moment at point a is ma which is 19.5 kilometer newton into meter and this is clock counterclockwise so while drawing in uh, shape moment diagrams you will it will jump toward the negative so your first point will be this one 19.5 this is 19.5 first point this one now the first area under the shear force diagram is this one between a and b and this area is 6.5 multiplied by 3 because this is rectangular and that will be equal to minus 19.5 because uh, so plus 19.5 so this is uh, 19.5 sorry uh, uh, yes this is 19 point minus 19.5 and this area gives you minus 19.5 so minus 19.5 plus 19 will bring it to zero and since this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing because it is a positive shear force i will draw the line again to to make it exact okay now the second area under the shear force diagram is this triangular area and you can see that this area is 1 over 2 into 4.5 multiplied by 1.5 and that will give you 3.375 so 0 plus 3.375 will bring it to 3.375 so 1 was 5 so 3.375 will be somewhere here this is 3.375 and you can see that this shear force is a one degree line and slope is decreasing so bending moment will be second degree curve and it will be in clockwise direction okay the third area is this one which is negative because and its area is 1 over 2 into 4.5 minus into 1.5 which is equal to minus 3.375 so plus 3.375 minus 3.375 will bring it to zero at this point so again it will be a curve and the slope will be in clockwise direction this is zero and that was all about uh, uh, problem 6.4 three here we have sfd shear force diagram and this is bmd bending moment diagram this is how we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for the given load i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section Thank you for watching.